what are the top three qualities you as an individual need or perhaps your team needs so that you can hit your target, smash that goal every time. In the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna share the three tactics or strategies or you can call it hacks that myself and my team use to grow our income and grow our company every month. The first quality and perhaps the most important is urgency. You have to realize that if you've set a big enough target and a big enough goal, you are already behind the moment that you start. If you're very comfortable and you can only start putting real effort on the 15th of the month and the project is due on the 31st, you need to readjust your target because those are targets that are not realistically scary. Target needs to scare you. Your urgency level needs to be up there at a 10 from the time you kick off. You cannot let go of the urgency. It's the most important factor that drives you as a human being and drives the team. If you're, if you're leading a team and your urgency level is low, the team's urgency le level is low as well. If your urgency level is high, they will try and match it. So as a team leader, you need to be high. As a person working in a team, if your urgency level is higher than anybody else, you will stand out, you will be seen, you'll be noticed, and people will actually start to respect you and follow you because of that urgency level. So number one, you have to be urgent. You have to be intentional and urgent with everything that you do in order for you to smash your target. Number two, quality. You have to follow through and manage the process yourself. So what do I mean? If it's, a, if it's an activity that requires only myself to do, never place your happiness in anybody's hands. If it's an activity that requires teamwork, it's a little bit more complex, but you have to manage the process yourself. So for example, every time I failed with a project or failed with a deadline, it was at this point where I actually passed my happiness over into somebody else's hands. They didn't take care of my happiness the way they should have. And guess what? We didn't hit the target. Had I micromanaged them, had I actually gone and asked, please, how far are we? Because our deadline is this. Your portion or your part needs to be done by this date. I'm urgent and I'm making sure that I'm micromanaging the process until that person hands it back to me. Because you can't do everything yourself. To be an effective leader or to work effectively in a team, you have to push out the responsibility. But until you guys have worked at least for a couple of months or years together, when that trust is at a 10, you have to micromanage that process. So in a real life scenario, for example, if a vehicle needs to be delivered by 12 o'clock and we gave that vehicle to DECRA and I know I need two hours to wash, polish and fuel that car, that vehicle needs to be back by 11 o'clock. So I'm going to have this conversation. I'm going to bring you the car at 9. I need to have the car back at 11. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Whatever the time frame is, but I'll manage them through the process. Half an hour into it, are we on track? 15 minutes before the time, are we on track? Make sure that when my happiness is at Decra's hands, they don't drop the ball. Until obviously one day we've worked together for many years, they know my expectation, they've met it 100 times out of 100, I can let go. But I'm still not letting go fully. You will still need to touch that process or that procedure to make sure that you hit your target. Third quality you need to absolutely deploy in anything that you tackle is manage expectations up front. This is what a mentor of mine taught me a couple of years ago and it's perhaps the, the best and most valuable lesson that I took away from him. A hugely successful businessman, multi-billionaire in the USA. And he said to me, Bobby, manage expectations up front. So what does that mean? When I enter into a project on my own, I need to manage my own expectations up front. So I need to analyze A to Z. How do I start? What are the landmines? What are the potential problems? What am I going to encounter here? How much time will this take out of my day? Manage expectations up front. Am I willing to give of myself that to have this achievement? Perfect example. 
Recently, I lost 14 kilograms in eight weeks. Manage expectations up front was done this way. I got a personal trainer and I asked him, what do you need from me to achieve this goal? This is my goal. This is what, where I want to be. How long will it take and what do you need from me? I need details. So he said to me, this is your diet. This is your training. This is your supplements that you're going to take. This is what time you need to show up. This is how long we train and this is what the training will be. That's managing expectations up front. I can't go halfway into it and say this is too hard. He was up front with me. So in order for me to get the result, I need to be willing to give him all these things that he asked for. Did I? Yes. Did he produce the result? 100%. So I lost the weight. I feel great. I've got more energy. But I managed expectations with him up front. I need to know the last detail of what he's expecting from me to give me the result. Working with a team member, for example, on a project, I'm going to ask many times. Everybody that works with me knows this. By when can I have that report? So recently in our CRM department, we had an issue. So ask the girl, by what time can I have a full report and when? So I'm managing expectations up front. I'm going to give you the grace. But if you say 5 o'clock this afternoon, I need it by 5 o'clock this afternoon. We're not going to have a separate conversation about I forgot or whatever. Managing expectation up front. So I expect you to give me this report on my desk at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Are we in agreement? Yes, we are. Great. Working with my wife. For example, if we're going out for supper, I need to manage the expectation. So, babe, this evening we have a shoot. I've got these three meetings. I cannot be at home before Half past seven. Is that okay with you? I'm going to come back to you. Phone me back. Yes, that's fine because we're meeting our friends at a restaurant 20 minutes away and we can meet them at 8 o'clock. I manage expectations up front. We, we both know the deadlines we have to meet. So if one of us fails, we can see where the problem is. But a lot of people don't do that. They just wing it, get into something, and then halfway decide, holy moly, this is too difficult. I can't do this. And then the whole thing fails. So managing expectations up front is hugely important. I hope my advice helps you. I hope it grows you into the person that you want to be and want to become. And I hope you share this with someone and it might help them hit their targets. Thank you very much and take care. Bye-bye.